Hello again. Uh, in this tutorial, I'll be uh, showing how can Civil 3D render a surface or a corridor and prepare it for uh, visualization, um, like any other or most of the Autodesk programs. Uh, first of all, to make the rendering appears uh, more properly, I will uh, remove uh, make the surfaces as no display. So uh, from the prospector, uh, I'll go to surfaces and go to the um, uh, name of the surface, which is FG final. So right click and say surface properties. Uh, from the uh, surface style, I will pick up this one and say uh, order only or no display if you want. Um, and say OK. I will uh, go to view the corridor in 3D. So I'll pick the corner of that cube. Get uh, a better view of the um, of the corridor. I will go uh, from uh, view and from the visual styles. I will select rather than 2D wireframe. Uh, I will select uh, realistic. Uh, now to get rid of these uh, lines that shows in the corridor, I'll do some amendments to the model. So I'll go uh, and select the corridor. From corridor properties. I will go to codes. From here you can uh, see there is some uh, uh, rendering material assigned uh, for, for the different items of the uh, model. First thing I will do is to copy uh, these um, into a new um, code set style uh, and give it a name. Let's call it uh, rendering. Uh, R -E -N -N. You probably could do a description if you want, but what I'll do is I'll jump in to the codes tab um, and expand links. I will select uh, all the input for the links. So I'll select the first row and then use the shift key from the keyboard, select the last row. It will select all the items. Then I will click on the style, uh, the, the button here for the first row. I will select the uh, style uh, here as no uh, display and select OK. A similar way I will, so just make sure all the style now is no display. I will do the same process for the points. So again, I will uh, select the first row and then using the shift key going to the last row and text so you can select all the rows and again uh sorry i think i should deselect first so i will select the point uh, as the first row and the last row uh, for the points and again i will uh, click on the style uh, and select uh, no markers uh, and press OK. Uh, in a similar way for shapes as well. So I'll select the first row, uh, key shift, uh, sh shift key in the keyboard, and then click the last row and go to select the style for the first row and select this uh, as no uh, shading and press OK and make sure it's all selected as no shading. Now, let's imagine that you don't have that style. Uh, no shading it's easy to create um, a similar uh, style just select anyone like basic and go uh, to the edit tool or copy current selection and from here you can go to display and just remove uh, the, the visibility of all the layers inside it um, and that's it really but yeah i have that um, uh, no shading is already uh, defined in, in, in my case. So console. Now it's ready. Now I'll uh, say to the code set style OK. Finished. Now uh, make sure again the uh, style selected is rendering, the one that we have created 
uh, just recently and it's got no display for link for points and for uh, shapes uh, and i will click ok it will ask me rebuild corridor uh, yes Now you can uh, see we are in a much better view of the corridor uh, and all these uh, feature lines are, are, are gone uh, now. Um, actually there is uh, still some uh, material are rendering like the sub base. If I zoom in for example here you can see uh, this material uh, underneath um, it's still showing a different style so we could r get rid of this uh, but to make the video uh, just short, I'm, I'm gonna skip this and maybe cover, the, cover it in, in another video. Uh, to make the uh, rendering or the corridor shape looks even more smooth and better, we can remove these triangles that you can see in, in, in the corridor uh, view. So uh, what I'll do is from the view ribbon, again, visual style, I will select realistic the view and then choose visual style manager i will uh, try to select the realistic uh, style uh, let's see where is it this one right click and say copy again right click and say paste so this is the new uh, realistic called copy one of realistic I will do right click again and edit it uh, select edit name and description and we'll call uh, this as again rendering we'll copy uh, the name and paste it as well in the description and click OK now from the properties shown in the uh, visual style uh, manager here I will go to edit edge settings then from the show uh, options I will have the drop menu and select none now I will close the visual style manager and go back again to the view ribbon visual styles and I will select instead of realistic I will select the new style that's called rendering I just created and here we go you can see clearly uh, it is much smoother than before so you could see the carriageway uh, the verge or the daylight um, uh, or the embankment from the edges and uh, it looks uh, really much uh, better and you can see uh, the intersection there uh, you can also get rid of these lines but should be covered in another video i don't want to make this uh, as long so thank you for watching and hopefully uh, we can catch up in another video